Hey everybody, welcome to the Pistrino Show. On today's show, uh, I'm going to talk about some frustrating things that have happened over the last couple weeks. Um, and then, um, hell, by the end of this, I might just be pissed off enough that that'll be it. So, the first one's been resolved, but I still have to talk about it. So, this is what a seven hundred dollar radio, nine eight hundred dollar. I don't know. It's expensive, and you would expect something that expensive to be of high quality. Well, the first one I received was not. Um, I've worked in the plastics industry before for the automotive companies. Um, and one thing they do is if they have a defect that comes off the mold, they will take a can of spray paint and try to cover it up. Um, of course, some pieces are supposed to be painted. That's great, but some pieces are not. You never want to do this fix on anywhere the hand touches repeatedly like I'm talking like dashes so your entire dash if it's a spot that would get touched like by your keypad that paint will wear off and then there'll be a smudge there or different color there and you just can't do that um, because that makes everything look so cheap well Spectrum and I'm guessing this is a supplier but whoever supplied this handle piece, this side, I'm sure they apply, they sell the other side too, but this side in particular, the entire thing was painted um, like a, a, a far away paint on this just to blush it, and then this was heavy duty black. I hope you can all see what I'm talking about. This one doesn't have the defect, but so this was black and this was like, it was similarly gray, but it was orange peeled. You could see it when you really look for it. But what happened is there's a sticker that goes right here. You can even see the outline of it on this one. Um, I took that sticker off and as I'm peeling it, the paint comes up. So I'm, and I thought it was like tape or residue from the tape on the sticker. So I get out a bottle of my, uh, or not a bottle, but I get out a little wipe, alcohol wipe, trying to get the, the leftover sticker off. So I rub it and it's still not coming. And I rub it and it's getting bigger. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? And so it becomes about this big. I don't know if you can see it. You can see it. This big right here. Just all the paint coming off of it. So it's got the different color underneath of it, which is very similar. But then it's got the line of paint, which is white, where the paint's not ripped off yet. It's just, you know, there's light getting underneath it. That's how you can see the white line. Um, and so in the automotive industry, like I said, you can do that paint stuff in areas that people don't touch. Even the automotive industry knows you would never do it to this. Um, something that's held every day. I mean, that's just ridiculous. So after I got that spot, I started looking around and I had spots over here. Um, there's, I can't remember where the other spots were. The big one was here and then uh, some little ones here. And then I noticed that this was just solid black and it was not matte black. So it didn't match. I mean, it was shiny. Um, so I contacted Spectrum. They said, uh. I need to contact 
the person that I bought it from, which I was fine with. I called them, sent them pictures, explained how I know what happened and what happened. And they got a hold of Horizon Hobby, who they gave the pictures information to. And then they said, yes, that's a defect. Return it. So I had to take all my stuff off of it, put it back in the box, ship it off. And it's been gone for, I don't know, a couple weeks. And then I get my refund. Unfortunately, that company didn't have another one to sell me because I just wanted to swap it. Um, buy a new one from them. I mean, they helped me out, so I was hoping that they could do that. But everybody's out of these things, or at least some people are, especially the small, um, small businesses that are doing their sales on the Internet. So I went to A Main Hobbies and A Main had one in stock, so I bought it. I'm sure they have others in stock, but I said, send it to me. They sent it to me, and this one, all of this is the real plastic color. This is all real plastic. And you can see because it's a matte finish. This is where the sticker was. I'm not sure why there's such a big difference there. But that'll wear away. Um, and you can see both sides are, are the same. There's no color difference between the sides and no texture. Uh, this part here is pretty much the same. I mean, it's going to change color over time. It's, however many times you put your fingers on it. Um, but it's not going to change color. It's just going to kind of glossy from your oils in your hands. Like it kind of is starting to do. Um, you can tell that these covers... Uh, I'm going to get the light over here so I can try and show you. So this one's really black. You can see the color difference. And this one is not. Then look at the texture. The texture of this one is like an orange peel. A glossy orange peel. And this one's smooth. Little texture to it, but uh, it's just from the mold. Come here in the back, same thing here in the back. This one's glossy, this one's not. Um, and then the orange peel. You can see crazy orange peel there. So those two things are painted. And I think that's it. Oh, no, no, no. Around the screen. This. And this, which is one piece. Oh, maybe not this. I don't know. The other day, they kind of looked orange peel, but now I would say I'm wrong. So the only thing that's been painted are these two. And that's fine. I'll never change those. I won't use them too much. Um, so I got a good one. Everything works. Just the, the other one, everything worked. I never had any issues setting up cars. Um, but, so on this one, I've got the Grom on it and I've got the, uh, I did finish the SCX six build purple build. And the thing I love about this is it can change colors, uh, based on what car you're running. So. When you click on the SCX6, these lights turn purple. When you click on the Mojave Grom, they turn blue. Um, and of course, the big boys will be red. And, uh, and then the chrome, or the, I say chrome, but the 
aluminum one, I'm going to just do white. Because that's a shiny white. But yeah, so that's been my experience with the yes or with the IX SR so far. So far not doing too well as far as quality, but um, the radio system and the way it feels in your hand, uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm still happy with it. I'm upset that I was without my controller for two weeks. But it is what it is. Uh, at least they replaced it knowing that they fucked up. So, And they must have had a few others like that because they, you know, instantly approved the return. There was no paperwork or anything. Just send it back. So that was good. Um, so that's my radio problem. Not a problem anymore, but it was a problem. Uh, let's talk about this problem. Um, first off, aluminum wheels. They, uh, the color's ugly. I mean... It's funny, it matches this strip, which goes to this tire, but there's this strip doesn't go to this one, so it looks kind of weird. But I got my slicks on there, ready to do some racing in the driveway. Uh, my wife and I are going to start our own little competition, competition league in our, on our concrete driveway, and... Uh, There'll be a trophy. I'm sure we'll do a trophy. Oh, let me get this the fuck out of the way. So, yeah. That's what the wife and I have planned anyway. But, again, I was limited by the radio. Being gone for two weeks. That I could really get this programmed and out the door. But then, the radio comes in. I set it all up. I get it ready to go. And then it don't go nowhere. So you can see I'm missing some parts. So I'm missing my castle system. Not happy about it. But it is what it is. Um... What was going on is there was some kind of communication error between the ESC and the motor. So it was either the ESC sending out wrong communication or the motor um, translating the transmission improperly. And it would not go. So it was so it's so weird. All right, so I took the motor out, had it in my hand, got my remote in the other hand, and I'm trying to get the motor to run. And if the sensor wire was hooked up, the only thing it would do is every once in a while, it'd shake violently and then would stop. And you're still trying to, still trying to get it to work and then it would go, and stop. Not spinning, just back and forth. So then I was like, well, maybe it's a sensor cable. Um, I took it out. I looked at it. I'm, obviously, I visually inspected everything first. Um, and then I went into the program, checked all the data on the program, tried it. Nothing changed. So then I even reset the ESC to stop programming and it still did the exact same thing. So it was nothing I could fix through the Bluetooth software. So then I disconnected the sensor wire and nothing happened. It wouldn't spin. It wouldn't do anything. Well, I'm sitting here just flicking it. 
And if I flicked it while I had my finger on the trigger, it would take off. Just, and then it would stop. And then put it in reverse, nothing would happen. And I'd hit it and then go. Whoo. I don't know. I don't know what it had to do with my thumb. I, just, I don't know if it was angle maybe of the shaft, the drive shaft. Because I definitely wasn't starting it with my thumb, you know, like spinning it, giving it a boost. I was just touching the, the shaft. And so maybe the shaft was out of alignment um, or something going on in that perspective. I hope that's it. But um, then um, another way I could get it to go sometimes, this is intermittent. Intermittently, I could go to reverse and then go to full throttle and it would start spinning. Now, if I went to reverse, it would stop. And if I kept doing reverse, it wouldn't do anything. But then I hold down throttle and then bump it into reverse, it would go, it would spin some more. But it was never repeatable. It would just do it when it wanted to. And I don't, I'm not even sure if it was spinning or not. Well, yeah, it had to be for the sound, I guess. Uh, but it's hard to tell because I got two fans on my build. And uh, one of them's really loud. So, sounds like a rocket engine starting up with the wine. Pretty crazy. So Castle, I communicated to them. I told them what's going on. They said, send it back. So I sent it back. I've had zero communication. Um, I don't know what they're doing to it or anything. I don't even know if I'll get it back. I have no idea with them. So... So yeah, this project is pretty much fucked until I get that motor and ESC back. Uh, and when I do, I might just say screw them and put the um, hobby wing motor and ESC in there. Because I finished her build and it is wicked so. Let's get that problem out of the way. So this is my wife's little truck. You can see it's got the Hobby Wing uh, 10 BL60 censored with the XE Run 4800 KV motor. So. Uh, this let's fire this bad boy up my wife told me not to drive it so being a good boy I won't this is a 3S battery the DX3 controller and I programmed it myself which is not the funnest thing to do but you can see I got full steering my endpoints are set steering great and then I'm gonna go forward so watch this <laughs> that's not bad right That's 
So yeah, it goes pretty good. I'm excited to see how fast it is. The thing is, that's with a 14T pinion. Uh, they come with an 18, I think, 18 or 19. So I turned it way down so that she could handle it because this is her first RC. Um, but it looks like I'm going to have to turn it down. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Throttle limit, I have on 50. So that's 50%. So let's let's do 100 just to show you once. Man, that is just insane. I think the wheels are melting. So, I don't know how to turn up the speed of the steering on this bad boy. So, this remote, I mean, it does stuff, but it's such a pain in the ass. But, I mean, I know a lot of you guys know this remote and the other Spectrums. Because you bought the kit and you took the time to investigate and find out how you use everything. Uh, and I've done that too. It's just, I'm lazy. So it's much easier for me to do it on my radio than this one. But that would be the case for anybody. So I'm just... I don't know, steering rate on this, I don't know how to change the steering rate, I'll have to look that up, because that's, it's pretty slow right now. Um, but yeah, she's going to move out, I'm going to put this back on 50. She's going to move out. So, if uh, Castle Creations don't get back to me, or I decide to sell it, I'll be, well, I'll get the upgrade ESC, the new one, the G2, and then maybe the higher kilovolt, kilovolt motor, I don't know. And by the way, these are ice cold. This little fan right here, and this fan here, keep it nice and cool. So yeah, her car turned out fantastic mine is just sitting there like a piece of junk um, I did order rear a arms rear upper a arms and of course they sent me the granite upper arms and they're too long way too long so then I went back into the system I returned those and I got now I've got supposedly the real stuff coming. Um, should be here in a week, I think. I'm not too worried about it. I just like everything to match. I'm kind of girly that way, I guess. I have a feminine side. So the Groms, hers are done, ready to race, tires and wheels all set up, I didn't balance them because I know how I made them, so they're never going to balance properly, but that's okay. Do you want to hear mine go? quiet isn't it it's beautiful probably probably four hundred dollars of junk sitting there that's without the motor and ESE so oh well 
Well, so that's my pissed off news about the ground. Not so excited about it. So, now, uh, I've been working on sponsors for the infraction build and um, I've got a few sponsors. Look, I mean, you know, I got NSDRC, so they're going to be involved. I'll have whatever servers I need, I'll have in this build from NSDRC. Um, who else is sponsored? Uh, high Tech, we still have High Tech on the sponsorship list. They provided the charger and it's a long-term use item so it's still going um so they will stay on the sponsorship list um what else um the main sponsor the number one sponsor of the build is ebs hobbies usa and that's evshobbiesusa.com. Now, they've, they now own PPS, which is Practical Prototype Solutions. And they also own JBI RC, which is Just Bash It RC. So, they will be, be providing um, a lot of parts for this build. Uh, so we're trying to make it special. I've been talking with them a lot. Uh, I've really kind of gained a new friend, I think, over there at EVS. So uh, pretty cool guy and hardworking guy. He uh, he he puts the time in. So. And he's got more than just a hobby shop out there. I mean, he's got a manufacturing facility. Um, they do it all. So it's it's pretty sweet. His setup is pretty sweet. Uh, he's about two hours away from me and he, up in Illinois. Um, I haven't been there yet, but I look forward to going. Uh, once this build is done, uh, I'm going to bring it to him and let him drive it see what kind of speeds we can get out of it um, and i think i'm gonna let him do that the speed run and then we can tune it as we go and hopefully get it to the point to where it's oh, somewhat competitive with others it's not going to be a 300 mile per hour car um, 150 would be nice, I guess. I don't know. 150, 180, somewhere in there. What else? Um, well, finish up with EVS. Um, so they're going to be providing a chassis uh, and a buttload of aluminum parts, maybe some fiber, um, carbon fiber parts. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, some of that stuff will be shipping out soon, so we'll have a review of the parts when they get here. Uh, then I'll do videos of installation, and then I'll do videos when it's done, um, or when those parts are installed. So this will be a fun project. Um, I've also got a friend of the show. Um, with Ram Jam. So I'll be going to Ram Jam for titanium parts. Um, I've also got a friendship with Vitavon. Uh, right now, looking into parts 
from Vinavon for this build. They really don't have a lot of parts for the infraction. Um, so, but what they do have, uh, we're probably going to get and put in the car. Because uh, we like to have Vinavon on our team. Um, and then we have Cow RC. They're a friend of the show. Um, always like talking with them. Um, again, I hope I've made a friend uh, at Cow RC. Pretty cool guy. Um, very smart. Very intelligent man. So Cow RC is a friend of the show. No sponsorship or anything like that. Just they're a friend of the show. So our sponsors are EVS Hobbies, which includes PPS and G JB IRC. And then we have um, NSDRC. Then we have Vitavon. And we have High Tech. And we have the partial sponsorship with Ram Jam. And then a friend of the show, CowRC.com. And I think that's it. I don't have any sponsors for motors or anything like that. I, I don't even, I don't know. I've never tried to talk anybody into being a sponsor from the motor side of it. Um, we're... I'm trying to get something with, um, shoot, I don't even know their name, I can't remember their name, but they make some drive shafts, carbon fiber drive shafts that are cream of the crop, so I'm probably going to, it's like first pass or fastest pass, I don't know, finest pass, something pass. Uh, I'd remember their name if they, you know, become a sponsor. How about that? <laughs> uh, so I'll probably be buying some parts for them just uh, because they make good parts. And I think that's it. I think we're, we're going to go Castle Creations, which I don't want to. I don't. Uh, I have a bad taste in my mouth for castle creations especially just after their shit failing in my little tiny truck I don't want their shit to fail at 140 miles an hour but it looks like we'd be going with two XLX twos and then two we might be going with TP motors. I don't know. I need to do investigation. I found the motors, the TP motors I want, but I don't know. It'd be nice to have a sponsorship with TP Power or uh, Castle Creations as well. So if you guys are watching Castle Creations or TP Power. Message me. And we'll get something going. Alright, anyway. Enough of that shit. But, I just want to thank all of them. All of my sponsors. All of my friends of the show. All of my partial sponsors. I mean, these are the cream of the crop companies to deal with when you're working on modifying high-end cars trucks cars bashers i mean everything i mean i've got ram jam in both of my cratons show creighton and basher creighton and that turned out really well all their titanium pieces hold up um, so EVS Hobbies, Show Creighton, 80% of Show Creighton is EVS Hobbies. 
great stuff. Motor mounts, chassis, shock towers, um, all the hinge pin holders, all kinds of good stuff. If you hear an airplane in the background, we have a municipal airport near us and there's never any planes flying in and out. And there's a bunch of them flying in right now, so I don't know if it's military or what, but it's kind of weird hearing them. You never hear them on my videos because there's never a plane coming in or going. So yeah, EVS Hobbies has been in our, our group for a long time. I mean, show creating, like I said, is 80-90% EVS. Uh, Vitabon, of course, when I say Vitabon in my collection here, I think of the SCX-6 Bouncer. I'd say 90% of that is uh, Vitabon. Um, and then everything else is just, I mean, you got GPM, but... I'm hoping I don't have to use any GPM on the infraction. That's just like Integi. I don't want to use Integi. GPM makes great stuff for the little trucks. I mean, fabulous stuff. It looks beautiful. Uh, but, you know, as far as like A-arms on the infraction, I would much rather use Vitavon for something like that. A little more quality focused. Uh, but... GPM is a great, great company too. So, well, folks, I've rambled and rambled. So, I will now let you go. And next time, the next video will hopefully be about parts from EVS Hobbies coming in uh, so we can start building the infraction. So, next video. All right, guys. I want to appreciate, I appreciate all of you for taking the time to watch my show. Um, I appreciate all of you who like it, who follow it, who share it and subscribe, all that great stuff. I appreciate it so much. You don't even know. And uh, I think here, probably at 1,200 members, 1,300 members, uh, I'll be doing another big giveaway. So let's get those numbers going up. Let's get some subscribers. If you know people that are not subscribing, please share uh, my channel with them. Let them know what I'm about. Uh, we're about modding. RC everything every day and I added that every day because I'm in this room every day modding RC's everything all right so please help me with that I'd appreciate it so much um, and uh, I will talk to you all again soon Right here on the Pistarino Show. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.